2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, thank you for stopping by. My name is Liz Leanne, and I do mostly lifestyle subjects on my channel. Um, I do a little bit of mature beauty, a little bit of um, plus size fashion, that sort of thing, but mostly my channel encompasses everything lifestyle really um okay so today i'm going to share with you how i make my own stilton and broccoli soup so we're going to have it for lunch i have got half a broccoli left over um so i'm gonna pop the camera down and show you how i make it and i'm going to start to chop now I'm just going to take any little rough ends, sort of, you know, like the bits that aren't so great looking, off of the stalk because I use the stalks as well because there is actually so much flavour in the stalk. So there we go. So I'm just going to chop it a bit because it doesn't take so long to cook them. And then literally every part of this broccoli will be used as I say I'll just chop it a little bit just to help speed up the cooking time be completely frugal about this you could use your broccoli for your meals and literally just keep some of the stalks back maybe pop them into the freezer and then you could bring those out to make the soup with because it still tastes as lovely as I say it's very very um, there's a lot of flavor in the stalks right I'm just gonna rinse this off that's all rinsed and in the saucepan uh, I'm just going to take what water I've got left in the kettle and the liquid here will be used as part of the, um, the soup. So I'm just going to pop this onto the gas hob. I'm going to season it with some, just some table salt, so like a teaspoon. And I'm just going to turn the cooker on now. Put some light on the subject here. Lower you down a bit so you can see. There we go. I'm just going to pop the lid on so it comes to the bowl quite quickly. Um, I have taken some little rolls out of the freezer that I have this morning. Just to make this a little healthier, you don't have to do this. And this isn't what I would do as a rule when I make this soup. But I do have some young spinach here that I need to start using so I'm going to add that into the saucepan some of this it's like a couple of handfuls and that to be honest won't take away from the flavour of the soup at all here on the chopping board I've got some this is Danish blue that I've got left over so this is going to be used in my soup so for now literally all I'm doing is I'm just going to sort of chop it up a bit take that hard off and I'm just sort of cubing it a bit just so that when it comes to melting it in the soup it's a little bit easier for it to um, you know to melt in the heat this 
is one of the easiest soups I think you can make, to be honest. It's so simple and easy. And these ingredients are something that I tend to sort of have in a lot of the time, so it's not like it's something I have to go and buy just to make the soup. Or, you know, you can make soup out of most things if you leftovers. I've even made vegetable soups out of like leftover vegetables from Sunday dinner if I haven't made a bubble and squeak. I've got my food processor, well it's literally just my blitzer that I use, so I've got that out ready. I'm just going to pop a little bit of pepper in now. Just a couple of OXO vegetable stock cubes. Again, you don't need to, it's preference. Right, so I tend to put a little bit of cold water in the bottom because I don't want my glass to break if anything is slightly too hot. So this is where I just take out, if you can see, there you go, the veggies. lid on and put it in here in the blender and let me move you back a bit so you can see I will probably mute this bit otherwise it's going to just hurt your eardrums any little bits that are just at the side that haven't gone in because they've got caught under the lid just sort of push them down and that is all beautifully blitzed up together so this is going to go back into the saucepan with all that flavoursome water And then this is when I add this lovely blue cheese. I don't measure anything. Um, let's put that in the wash. I just sort of eyeball it. But you're looking for that, just that generally soup consistency. So you can always, it's best to add too little liquid because you can then add more liquid if you want to. So let's get and stir the cheese in. just have to keep sort of keep an eye on it keep stirring it um, you can turn the heat down in a minute which is what I will be doing just to make sure everything's melted together all that cheese has melted in so that's the consistency at the moment so just using a couple of slices of bread I'm going to just quickly chop up and cook some croutons. So the croutons or the chopped bread in just to get some colour to quickly fry them off.
we are. This is the lovely soup. Voila. And there you have it, my lovelies. That is how I make my broccoli and Stilton soup. How easy is that? And of course, we've got some bread rolls to have with it. Look!